All right, guys, so real quick, I want to show you um, one of my favorite features of Proliquid Go. This is something that I uh, talk about with families a lot, and that is when the device goes to school or they're out somewhere and the parents aren't there, how do we know that the device is being used? So there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to open Proliquid Go. The first one that I think people forget about or maybe just don't know about is uh, this. Let's say he says, I want to stop. All right. Right over to the right hand sign is the little share icon. It looks like a square with an arrow coming out of the top of it. Let's push that. And right there, it allows us to take this message and send it in an email to add it to notes. To copy it, we can even turn this into a button. But what I want to do is add notes. So I want to stop. The teacher can add it as a note and then say something like this Was said at math activity. You hit save, it automatically saves it to the note for you. Um, it's a great way to communicate with parents about how the device is being used. The same thing if we want to communicate with the school, we can add it as a note. It's a great feature. The other way to check to see if um, the device is being used is to do this. If you hit this square down here, the two boxes on top of each other, and go to Recents, it'll show us when the device was last used. So I didn't use my device um, today at all. This is the first thing I've done yesterday. We used it to talk about the Pout Pout Fish book. Uh, earlier than that, we can see that we were doing space and some social stuff. So again, th that's another way to kind of check to see if things uh, are being done in different environments and I say things are being done if the device is being used in different environments um, another thing that I had a teacher say to me uh, earlier today was um, how do we make sure the student doesn't keep going to that button well you can't turn these features off uh, if you go into um, the settings tab uh, there's a, a way to do this it's really easy if you go to restrictions you can turn off edit mode just turn all of these off. You can turn in typing view, typing view, and recent view off. Um, as you see, it gets rid of all those at the bottom. Um, it's really easy to do. Turn them back on just by pushing them again. Super easy. Another thing that you can do, and I'm going to type in a message. If you triple click and use guided access. All right, you can circle this area. I might try to make a square. And you can hide those buttons so the student can't access them. Um, like so. Just like that. Hit resume. And now the student can't get to those. The problem with that is every time that you want to use them, you have to enter the password again and clear it or just hit end and, you know, push the button. Anyway, uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.